In 2009, British fighter Carl Froch made the first defense of his WBC Super Middleweight title against former undisputed middleweight champion Jermaine Taylor at the Fox Woods Resort Casino in Ledyard, Connecticut. Taylor came out as the oppressor from the opening bell and floored Froch in the third round with a left hook right hand combination. Going into the final round, Taylor was already leading on two of the judges' scorecards and would have won the fight, but Froch made an impressive comeback to win the fight with just 15 seconds remaining. He sent Taylor crumpling into a corner of the ring with a big right hand. And after his opponent got back to his feet to continue fighting, he unleashed a barrage of unresponded punches, which caused the referee to stop the fight. Next, we have the fight between Ryan Garcia and Olympic gold medalist Luke Campbell at the American Airlines Center for the Interim WBC lightweight title. In the second round, the Olympic gold medalist caught Garcia with a left hand that landed flush on his chin. He got back up and returned the favor in the seventh round with a vicious left hook to the body. Campbell went down and was unable to beat the count. He's asking questions. He's asking, do I want to get up? Can I get up? It is over! Ryan King Ryan Garcia! The new WBC Interim Lightweight Champion. In 1984, Ray Leonard announced his comeback to boxing after a brief retirement due to an eye injury. The match was against Kevin Howard and was billed The Best Is Back. Leonard was in control of the fight until the fourth round when Howard gave him the first knockdown of his professional career with a right hand that landed flush on his jaw. He quickly got back to his feet, but Howard continued with the attack, landing two good left hooks to the jaw. Leonard eventually won in the final minute of the ninth round. He stunned Howard with a left hook that landed on his head, followed by a barrage of punches that forced the referee to stop the fight. 
There's one, there's one minute to go in the round. There was a left hand and a sharp right. Howard held on just enough to stay up. Howard's in a whole lot of trouble here. Leonard stays on his man. Steps away from him when he gets on the ropes. And Howard's looking for a place to fall. And the fight is over. And, but that Kevin Howard was hurt. And he was hurt with a stinging punch. There it is, a left hand. And Kevin Howard was about to go down at that point. Now he holds on. And Sugar Ray Leonard was just looking to push him off and let him fall down. But Howard grasped him around the waist. And Leonard, in fact, I thought I saw Leonard wince in pain for a minute. He might even hurt his knee. You can see right there. Finally, Sugar Ray Leonard pushed him away. And that at least allowed Kevin Howard a moment. Now let's take a look at the end. Once more, Kevin Howard in trouble and staggering, but knowing that he's got the ropes behind him, trying to get to the ropes. Now he tries to hold on again. And the referee, Flaherty, tries to step in, still having trouble separating him, says that's it, and the fight is over. There were 32 seconds remaining. Let's take another look at the end. Kevin Howard at least had the presence of mind to try to grasp on to Sugar Ray Leonard and at least stay in an upright position. You can see the referee looking in. Incidentally, Flaherty has refereed fights of this caliber. He has, in fact, refereed a Sugar Ray Leonard fight before. The fight between James Douglas and Mike Tyson at the Tokyo Dome in Japan in 1990 is considered one of the greatest upsets in the history of modern boxing. The then undefeated and undisputed heavyweight champion came into the ring expecting an early victory, but his opponent was also determined to win at all costs. Douglas was not afraid of Tyson, and he would let his punches fly whenever he saw the opportunity. And a good right uppercut and two more good rights by Douglas. I don't think I've ever seen Tyson absorb that kind of a four or five punch combination before in his professional career. Now, Mike is not going to Mike. Within the last seconds of the eighth round, Tyson detonated a big right uppercut that sent Douglas to the canvas. Backing up. Now, perhaps he's trying to bait him to come in and to relax because that was the effect of it. Came off the ropes with that. Comes out for this round. Seven down. Seven down. Round nine. However, he recovered shortly and landed an uppercut of his own in the 10th round, followed by a four-punch combination to send the champion down on the canvas for the first time in his career. Next on our list, we have the fight between Daryl Wilson and Kurt Shabalala at the Blue Horizon in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. South African Shabalala dropped his opponent with a stiff left jab 25 seconds into the fight. Things looked even worse for Wilson as he was down again at the end of the third round when Shabalala landed an overhand right. И вот, вот, пожалуйста, друзья, туда вправо, точно в подбородок. И обратите внимание, друзья, этот момент, в общем-то, вызвал немало споров. Тут рефери должен был бой прекратить, по мнению многих, поскольку на счет 10 стал. Ну, по всем правилам это нокаут. Ну, давайте смотреть, удар справа. Wilson managed to survive both knockdowns and landed a left uppercut of his own in the fourth round that sent Shabalala to the canvas, unable to beat the count.
Выплюнул капуша Балала, отправил в этот серию ударов на пол. Уилсон. Встанет ли южноафриканец? That's all for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to tell us about your favorite knockout in the comments section below. See you in the next video with some interesting content. Until then, stay tuned.